Hey guys, D.R.G. Bana here. And as you can see, I got the Five Nights at Freddy's Jump Scare game. It's more, it's not really like a board game. It's one of those games that if you do something wrong, it'll, the figure will jump at you. It's kind of like that. It's more like a startling game rather than a board game itself. I don't know how you guys look at it. And of course they will make one for Five Nights at Freddy's. It's for ages eight and up. It requires three AA batteries, so make sure you have three AA batteries. It does not come with them. It says steal his pizza if you dare, but beware the jump scare. And it shows Freddy jump scaring the player or whoever's playing. Some people compare this to the SFM. If you don't know what that means, that's Source Filmmaker. It, I could see why they would do that. They compare it to that, and I could see it too. It's more based off the old model of the SFM model of Freddy and they gave him red eyes for some reason maybe because Freddy is typical of an evil person if you have red eyes you're normally evil so I can see why they gave him red eyes instead of his traditional blue eyes and here's this other here's the side of the box find out to Freddy still Freddy's pizza but don't wake him he will jump and roar as you can see and the back it says test your skill against your friends and steal this pizza if you dare but beware the jump scare and it contains one Freddy Fazbear figure one pizza tray 24 pizza tokens that come in three different colors so that's eight pieces for each color one spinner wheel and one tongs and instruction manual and here's the other side Try to steal Freddy's pizza while he's asleep. If he wakes, he will leap with the roar. That's that's sure to scare. Hmm. Sure. Well, it depends. So, I don't know if you guys seen this already, but I might as well show it off. I got this the same day I sh showed you the Finance of Freddy stickers at Toys R Us. I got it the same day when I saw the stickers. But enough of that. So you can go watch that video. But I'm gonna demonstrate this game. I'm gonna demonstrate this game for you guys. And here it is, guys. Uh, here's the figure, I guess. I don't really look at it as a figure. I look at it more as a statue. If you want a Finance of Freddy statue with it for a, a fair price, this was around $24.99. So it's not really fair, but compared to others, eh, I kind of like this. At least I, that's how I look at it. I'm not gonna really play this game. I just want it as a, you know, background piece for my Finance of Freddy's collection. That's the whole reason why I got it. But let's see what happens when I do this. Yes, that's the music that plays. It's very unsettling. Some people think it's the Tour de March music from Final Fantasy Freddy's, where if you lose all power, Freddy will show up. Some people think it's a distorted version. I kind of don't look at it like that. I just look at it as a very unsettling music. And as Freddy sleeps, you got to steal his pizza without him waking up. Here's the tongs that you can use, but on a box it shows someone using their fingers, so it depends how you want to play it. Honestly, I'm going to paint this. I'm going to make it more silver, and maybe this, the cuts will be red, but I'll see what happens. I need a screw, a screwdriver to get in there so I could unscrew it. And for some reason, people don't do a comparison to the action figures. For example, this is how big it is compared to an action figure. So it's somewhat big. Whoops. Freddy's leg fell off. But that's how big it is compared to the action figure. Now if you wanted to play, all you have to do is spin the wheel. You can either skip a turn, give one yellow, three reds, one blue, two yellows, three blues, one red, two blues, one yellow, two reds, one blue, three yellows, and one red. So let's see which one I get. One blue, so I just get one blue. There you go. Let's do it again. I skip a turn so I don't have to go. Let's do it one more time, just to be safe. This will be it. Two, uh, I can't decide so let's spin again. Two reds, okay. And what happens if you mess up or fumble? Let's see if it'll do it.
that's what happens if you mess it up. That's the jump scare, that's what happens. So, it is very unsettling and startling. I'm kind of shooken up, kind of shook about that. And some pieces do fall off, which makes sense. And let's take a look at the pieces. Now that I have them on, let me just put the colors back. I only need three of them. Here's the red piece. It, it looks like, well, pizza has been bitten off. I do like that. Here's the blue one. And here's the yellow one. But that's the reason why I don't have music playing on. I wanted you guys to hear this music because it's very unsettling. And let me just jump, get jump scared one more time. Come on. Come on, Freddy, wake up. Okay, let me get them off so I can show you guys the figure. Well, not really a figure. It's more of a statue, like I said. Here he is right here. I do like how he looks. Now, I can't paint this because I'm not going to because if I try, the paint will chip off because as you can see, he needs to close his eyes so I can't paint his eyes. The paint will chip off like that. But I do like how he looks. And the tray... The tray's all right, at least I think it's all right. It has the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza logo right there. The speaker's right here. The battery's going underneath here. You do have to unscrew them. Just get a screwdriver and screw the, unscrew the cap so you can put the batteries in. The figure connects right here. To turn it on and off, the switch is right here. No, right here, sorry. Turn it off, there you go. But honestly, I just want this as a background piece from my Final of Freddy's collection. I don't plan on playing it. I don't know if you guys want to see like a skit video of the Final Fantasy Freddy's characters like these playing this game. I don't know if you guys want to see that. You can let me know either in the upper right hand corner or in the comments down below. See how you will feel. This doesn't look right. Uh, okay. And there we go. That looks better. I don't know if you guys want to see that video as a joke. Just let me know in the comments or in the upper right hand corner. And I'll see if I can make it happen. But I do like this from a view standard, not so much as a game standard. I can't see myself playing this game all the time, but I could see myself having this for my collection. Again, it's $24.99. I got this at Toys R Us. I don't know if it's available at other retail stores like Target, Barnes & Noble, or Walmart. I only seen it at Toys R Us. Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye.